I'm on. This is my cheat sheet for Tuesday, August 2nd. And the news right now is, well, interesting. If you're an iPhone 5 observer, whether you want to buy it or you're just kind of curious as to if it's going to be released, when it's going to be released, I've taken a look at what manufacturing companies that make parts, you know, chips and the like that go into these iPhones and other Apple products are doing overseas uh, to try to determine release times before. But this time around, I think it's more interesting to take a look at what AT&T store employees are not going to be able to do. AT&T has blacked out the ability for their retail workers to take vacation the final two weeks of September or the first week of October. What that tells me is that Apple is going to make an announcement mid-September, pre-orders will roll in the final two weeks of September, with delivery the first week of October. So that's my prediction. The iPhone 5 will be announced in September, released the first week of October. Guess we'll find out. In the meantime, smartphone satisfaction ratings are out, and it's really somewhat unbelievable for Apple. Get this, 94%, 94% of all iPhone owners plan to make the next purchase an iPhone. Customer satisfaction actually has risen from 91% with the previous generation iPhone. Meanwhile, and there are a lot of good droids out there. I don't mean for this to be just an iPhone love fest. I do like some of the droids in the market. But perhaps some of the problem with the droid platform is that there are so many phones out there. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so hot. And consequently, the overall user experience with the Droid platform can vary so greatly that I might actually end up taking a toll on that platform as a whole. Because get this, in that same satisfaction survey, only 47% of existing Droid users plan to make their next smartphone purchase another Droid product. 64% of the existing Droid users actually plan to switch to the iPhone 5. So... If we're wondering if Apple still has upside with as much market share as they already have, being the number one maker of cell phones in the world, yeah, apparently they do. Really is something. All right, so here's some not-so-hot news. Uh, yesterday, we received an abysmal manufacturing number. That's what killed the stock market after a half hour of trading yesterday. You know, there's some relief in the stock market because of the debt deal uh, that looked apparently like it was going to get done, and we did see the house vote come in last night. Uh, but the bigger problem was... And I mentioned this yesterday. Whatever point people are done with the relief factor of getting the debt thing out of the news every day, all day, they're going to take a look at the economy. And that's not going to be a pretty picture. Because honestly, it's not good right now. Everything I've been pointing at steers us towards another recession. I hate saying that. I really do. And I hope I'm wrong this time. Uh, but it looks that way. Manufacturing data we got yesterday was the worst in more than two years. It basically, it was at recessionary levels. Certainly not good news for your big manufacturing states uh, like Michigan, uh, you know, like Indiana, Ohio. So we just have to tuck that under our hats and, and know that the jobs number uh, coming up this Friday is not going to be good. You did also see all of the major Wall Street firms and economists downgrade their jobs expectations for July. We get that number at 8.30 on Friday. I do think that the unemployment rate will be rising for a third consecutive month. Okay, so let's say that you want a fuel-efficient car, but you don't want to pay a premium for a hybrid. There are a bunch of options out there. We now have nine different car models that are non-hybrids that get 40 miles per gallon or more. Two Chevys, two Fords, three Hyundais, one Honda, and one Mazda. I have all of those on the cheat sheet today if you're so inclined. By the way, the cheapest one comes in at $12,500. Uh, so some super affordable fuel efficiency out there right now. Uh, by the way, if you have a Ford truck, especially one from uh, the late 90s to uh, the middle part of last decade, you need to check out the recall list that's out there. Your gas tank might fall off. You know, of all the recalls we've had, a gas tank that falls off might be among the most shocking. Uh, by the way, Navy and Google Plus could team up. That could be interesting news for soldiers in the future to outreach with their families. And Delta is going to issue a refund to uh, some people that they ended up raising fares on uh, when the tax was going to fall off the federal tax. To see if you're eligible, click the link on my cheat sheet today and uh, just put in your information. If you're eligible for the refund, you'll get it right then. That's the cheat sheet for today. See you tomorrow.